Hello everyone, welcome back. Sorry about that. Took me a bit. I accidentally fell Hello, asleep. Detective. Hello, Mrs. Oh, Morris. Thanks for taking the trouble. a quick nap. Please, take a seat. Smoke a cigarette. Watch now, Vince Garface. We're assemble a composite photo of the suspect. I'll smoke a cigarette. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. No. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Yes. At least, that's how I remember him. Thank you very much for your help. We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. And go buy yourself a video, video game. Final Fantasy VII. into the frozen water at Central Park today to save a child who had tumbled in by accident. The young boy was successfully resuscitated and will completely recover. His courageous rescuer disappeared before the ambulance had even arrived, apparently a case of a reluctant hero. The investigation continues into the recent murder which took place at Doc's Diner. Police have today provided a composite photo of the suspect based on information given by a witness to the crime. If you see this man, please call the special number which appears on your screen now. And finally, a report on the weather with a new snow front moving down from Canada. Fucking Canada! Gotta kill us all! I knew it! They know what I look like. Well, that's it then. Now the manhunt really begins.
stronger and quicker. My God, what's happening to me? Milk. You have no new messages. I gotta turn the amp on first. And I said, hey! Yeah, trophy. It's 14 degrees. Did you did you want to turn on the leave a fucking window open? Marcus and me before the accident. Damn it.
came to pick up my stuff. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, I'm just a little bit sleepy. Come in. Have a seat. Want something to drink? I think there's still a bottle of gin laying around in the kitchen somewhere, if you want. Yeah, I'd love some. So, how's life? I'm pretty swamped with work at the hospital right now, and I'm not completely moved in yet, but I'm doing fine. I'll go and get your stuff. It's just two boxes. I'm not sure exactly where they'd be now, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they've got my initials on them. Here they are. I think that's everything. Is everything okay, Lucas? You look stressed. I had a few health problems, but I'm better now. That's good. Hey, I, I miss you, you know? I miss you too. I'm still not ready, Lucas. I need some more time to be alone. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have... I'm gonna go. Thanks for everything. One time I got her to stay, I don't know how I did it. I think I was with her, the power of the guitar! I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to. Maybe it was better this way. After all, I had no idea what was going to happen to me in the next 24 hours. 
What could I offer at this point to a girl like Tiffany? By letting her go, I was protecting her. I went to bed. There was nothing else for me to do but try to sleep and find out what tomorrow was going to bring. girl again. She seems so real. I must be losing my mind. The report from the morgue kept me up all night. Rather than answering any questions, it just added new ones. Did the murderer intentionally give the victim a slow, painful death? Is there any link to the mysterious Kirsten case? Who sent me that email about Kirsten and why? This training session with Tyler is just what I need. I need to cleanse my spirit and just breathe it. Damn, you look a little out of it, Carla. You sure you're cool? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Okay. Let's warm up a little, then go for it. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Sounds good. One. Two. Three. I'm warmed up. I'm ready to get in the ring. Hands are hurting. Six. Seven. Here's my thumb feels better now. Eight. Uh, 
Good shape this morning. One more set and I'll be ready to get in the ring. Can't get that restaurant murder out of your head, huh? I just feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. You're busting your head for nothing. The guy's a psycho. End of story. Yeah, maybe. I just want to find him and make sure he never does it again. We'll get it. Guy who leaves that much evidence behind on a murder one, he's gonna slip up somewhere. I hope it's that simple, Tyler. I really do. Ten years. 
ten years since my parents were killed in a car accident. I've never completely recovered from losing them. You never really get over something like that. Considering all that's been happening to me lately, I thought maybe I should go and meditate at their grave a little this morning. Like just sitting in the corner. Lucas. Lucas, you coming? I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. I've about had it with you, Lucas. You're always off by yourself. You never talk to anyone. You never play with anyone. I'm starting to think maybe you're crazy. You're weird, that's for sure. Is that bad? Come on, do me a favor. Just play with everybody this one time. How about hide and seek? We could go play in Hangar 4. No way. You know we're not allowed to play in there. Who cares? We can get in through that hole in the fence like last time. Nobody will see us. We can get inside the hangar from the back door. Good idea. Let's do it. Are you Are coming you with, with us, with Lucas? Lucas? Night tough as I hate this part.
brother and some other kids are in Hangar 4, and it's gonna burn. You've got to go help them, please. Go on. Get out of here, kid. I don't have time for games. It's the truth, I swear it. Help me, please. You gotta help me. No point wasting any more time. No one's going to believe me. I have to warn Marcus and the others myself. Kurt said something about a hole in the fence. Thank you. 
Lucas, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to play. Get out of here now, Marcus. The hangar's going to explode. Huh? How can the... Don't ask any questions, Marcus. Get out now. It's about to explode. I'll keep looking for the others. Bug off, Lucas. You're going to give me away. The hangar's going to explode. You gotta get out of here right now. What kind of crap is this? You get out of here and stop trying to ruin the game. You are going to get out of the hangar right now. I'm not kidding. What are you doing here, Lucas? The game's over. Everybody's gone. You can come out now. Oh, that's just great. Why didn't anybody tell me? Get out of here, Kurt. The hangar's gonna blow. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just a retard, Lucas. Your mother sent me to find you. I'm gonna go and tell her that you're messing around in here. What? My mom? You say one word to her and you're dead meat. I'll deal with you later, freak. Alright, well, I was doing a phone call. No, just a few scratches. And the others? I managed to warn them in time. They all got out. How did you know it was going to happen, Lucas? I saw it. I saw it before it happened. Don't ask me how. You know they'll never believe that. I know. Lucas, are you alright, Lucas? Lucas. Can you hear me? I did a little checking around, without giving your name, obviously. I was told about a person who was familiar with, let's say, unusual phenomena. I think that maybe she could help you. Here, this is her address. You know that I don't believe in any of this, Lucas, but I sincerely hope that she can give you some kind of answer. I hope so too.
So, how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it could... It wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Several elements match the ammo of a ritual killing, or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart. All this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist, or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? We don't have enough information to determine that right now. He might do it again tomorrow, or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. So, what's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds in. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay, anything else? Yeah, book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay, I'll get all that stuff right away. What are you gonna work on? There's something that I need to verify. As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I have decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. There should be a switch box around here. this here. I'm gonna go for a smoke, but don't worry, I'll be back soon.